onto the manual muscle test component for biceps brachia, I have our individual in a seated position with his arm hanging at the side. And this is so we can get through all of the actions. So the first action that biceps brachia is going to be doing here is going to be going into supination of the radial ulnar joints. Again, flexion of the elbow and finally flexion of the glenohumeral joint. So you're going to start off in this position. If you would please go through all three of those actions for me, supination, flexion, and finally flexion. Excellent. So that is the active range of motion. The next thing that we're going to do is moving on to our break tests. Now it's going to be really challenging to try to resist all of biceps actions at one time. So we're going to separate this into two different tests. The first one that we're going to do is going to be for shoulder and elbow flexion at the same time. So this is again, a long lever test. But basically, I'm going to ask him to hold his elbow in this 90 degree bend while his shoulder is currently sitting approximately about 45 degrees of flexion. I'm going to be resisting above and then again below. So I'm going to be on his forearm as well as on his shoulder. And my resistance is going to be primarily in trying to extend his elbow, but it also has some resistance down towards the table or the floor and that's going to be putting pressure towards the shoulder. So again, please don't let me move you for five, four, three, two, one. The last thing I wanted to mention about that is that his forearm is currently in a supinated position, which is better for biceps and shortening up that radial ulnar joint. The second test to this is to now test for that supination component, but I want to keep his elbow at that 90 degree bend, but we're going to bring the shoulder into more of a neutral position. So his Shoulder is just resting. He's at 90 degrees of elbow bend, and he's gonna be trying to supinate as I try to pronate him. So with my one hand, I'm gonna be taking my thumb and resting it along his radius without adding any resistance to his wrist or his hand. And again, I'm just kind of cupping the bottom of that. And my other hand's gonna go in behind and just hold his elbow in place. So I'm going to say, please do not let me move you as I try to rotate him into pronation and he supinates. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. This is probably the most confusing step for biceps brachii as we're going to try to link all three actions together in one concentric. So for this, you need a hand placement that allows you to resist the supination, the flexion, and the flexion. So what I'm going to start off with is basically wrapping my fingers around the palmar aspect while the palm of my hand is on the back. I'm also then going to put my hand on the top of his shoulder for my stabilization. So he's going to turn over into supination first. Good. Now my fingers are left across the front where he's now going to start flexing at his elbow all the way up and then his shoulder. And at this point, I'm going to try to pull his arm away from his shoulder. Try to bring your palm towards your shoulder a little bit more. Great. So let's do that one more time in more of a fluid motion. So turn over into supination, flex the elbow, flex the shoulder, and palm to your shoulder. Excellent. And there's the complete concentric action for biceps brachii. Lastly, we're going to be lengthening biceps brachii. So because of its shoulder flexion, we're going to go into shoulder extension. Because of its elbow flexion, we're going to go to elbow extension. And because it does supination at the radial ulnar, we're going to go into pronation. So I'm going to start by pronating him, which is biceps primary action in that supination, sorry, the primary supinator of the radial ulnar joint. I have his elbow into extension. I'm going to stabilize on the shoulder and I'm going to bring him into shoulder extension until I get a nice tissue stretch across the front of his arm and his shoulder. So this is the length position for biceps 